Good afternoon. My name is Luis Viguria, CEO of the Young America's Business Trust. Welcome to the finals of the Talent and Innovation Competition of the Americas 2020 TIC Americas. Today, I'm, I'm honored to share with you a few words about the competition, Americas, and more about our organization, the Young America's Business Trust. As you know, YBT created in 1999 as its main objective, the promotion of the social and economic development of young people in the Western Hemisphere. And we use as main tools, knowledge, technology, leadership, and of course, entrepreneurship. TIC Americas is a program that we developed with the objective to connect all the different actors in this ecosystem, to give up give an opportunity to young people, young entrepreneurs, governments, private sector representatives, international cooperation, and the media to know each other in the young entrepreneur environment. We launch every year specific challenges. This year, the edition was focused on human capital and climate change for the startup challenge with the objective of uh, helping the development of human capital as a solution to address inequality. So we have three priorities on social, financial, and economic inclusion. The Eco Challenge uh, program that we developed in partnership with PepsiCo has as main objective um, to go beyond plastics. So we ask young people to help us develop solutions that can help us um, promote the circular economy of plastics and with the vision to have a future where plastic is not gonna be any more waste. That is something that is very important for, for our organization and seeing the results also very important for young people in our region. The Caribbean Innovation Competition was focused on climate change and the mitigation, prevention, and adaptation to its impact. We put focus on sargassum and natural disasters. With these objectives being presented, young people work for the past eight months developing these solutions and working in partnership with local organizations, international experts who work as mentors and provide some trainings online and on site. And we are very pleased with the results. We have over 2,700 applications. Today we have 22 finalists. These entrepreneurs will present their proposals to a selected group of international experts. Finalists and winners will have the opportunity also to address the audience. On Thursday, July 2nd in the morning, we have the demo day where you are all invited and young people will present and pitch their, pro their, their programs so they can have some feedback and recommendations from all of you and they will get some validation of their activities. The evening of that day, we will announce the winners. We also have the opportunity to have uh, keynote speakers and some plenary sessions. We had the fortune to have with us His Excellency Secretary General uh, Luis Almagro of the Organization for American States, His Excellency Nestor Mendez, Assistant Secretary General of the OAS, Mr. Luis Montoya, Chairman of PepsiCo Latin America Beverage, Mrs. Paula Santilli, CEO of PepsiCo Latin America, Mrs. Monica Bauer, Vice President of Corporate Affairs of PepsiCo, we also have the opportunity to, to learn from different trends, uh, such as the importance of the plastic circular economy, as well as the impact and role of young entrepreneurs and innovators in the context of COVID-19. On Wednesday, July 1st, all of you are invited to, to be with us in the Young Americas Dialogue, an opportunity that YBT work in partnership with the Summit of America Secretariat with the objective to give young people a voice in the Summit of America's process. Um, it was an eight month process where 42 dialogues were hosted all over the region. And young people now are presenting the results and recommendations and they will have uh, the opportunity to actually address that to the Secretary of the OAS who will respond to them. This is gonna be at 10 a.m. on July 1st. Um, you are all invited. You can do it either through through our platform, ticamericasnet slash finals, or through our social media channels such as Facebook or YouTube Live. Tick Americas is a program that we created in 2007. It's, it's been an amazing journey. 
over 47,000 young people, over 31,000 proposals submitted uh, historically. But it hasn't been a, a path that YBT walk along. We always want to recognize the importance of partnerships. Uh, for that, I want to recognize the role of PepsiCo um, through the Eco Challenge that has been supporting the active participation of young, young people promoting sustainable development, the support of the Organization of American States, having the presence of the Secretary General or the Assistant Secretary General is key for us. It's very important and it's a great example and demonstration to all of us on how important young entrepreneurs and youth participation is for the organization. Uh, I want to thank our, our team, the, the YBT team. You know, this, this month we all have been affected for the COVID-19 pandemic. Uh, we all been in quarantine, we all been working from home. Situation hasn't been easy, but that didn't stop young people, that didn't stop young entrepreneurs, and that didn't stop the YBT team. So here I want to, to thank all of you, uh, volunteers, interns, staff, fans, young people, young entrepreneurs, international experts, partners that were always there working with us, making sure that Tech Americas continues, that the program continues, that young people have an opportunity to connect, to present, to participate, and to grow. A uh, special thank also to our board of directors who gave us the opportunity to, to be today with us. I don't know how many people are as fortunate as, as we are of having as our daily job to be working with all of you. So we, we felt that we are uh, a blessed group and we want to thank you for the opportunity. Please enjoy Tech Americas. Uh, take advantage of it. Let us know also your thoughts, things that we can improve. Uh, we're happy to work with all of you in making it better and to have more impact also in, in the upcoming editions. See you soon. And once again, thank you very much for the opportunity. Bye.